Creating a realistic human head ready for animation is a long process with a lot of steps to consider in it. In this course, I will take you through my entire workflow of sculpting and texturing a realistic head ready for production in ZBrush and Mari. With almost 10 hours of video content, we will start by working on the sculpt, starting from a block out, and then we will go through the different steps of the entire process. So this will help you in the journey of becoming a 3D character artist. We'll see some basics of facial anatomy, and using a human character as an example, we'll learn all the steps to create, starting from a sphere or from a cylinder or from whatever you want, any kind of organic characters or assets following a workflow widely used in the film industry. We'll learn how to do a manual topology in Maya and some of the basics of what makes a good topology. After having our mesh in a good position and after sculpting a bit more on it in ZBrush, we will jump to Maya again to work on the UVs where I will explain you some basics of them, where I will talk about UDEMs, textile density, and some other important points to consider while creating our UVs. With our UVs done, we will jump to CWrap in ZBrush, and we'll project our texture in XYZ maps. And then with that, in Mari, uh, I will teach you some basics of the Mari node graph, and we will fix and prepare our displacement maps, our three different levels of displacement map. We'll prepare it in Mari for after importing it in ZBrush. In ZBrush, we will apply our three levels of displacement, and here we will add some details to the sculpt and break up this displacement to give more realism to the piece. With our UVs done, and after doing everything in ZBrush, we will jump back to Mari, where we will project our diffuse map, and we will learn two different workflows. One that will be with normal photo projection, and one will be using texture in XYZ. Also, we will create uh, the other maps, like bump, roughness, and some support maps that we will learn in the process. After having all our texturing done, we'll go back to ZBrush where we'll give the, that final details and using the diffuse as a base, we will give more realism to the piece while sculpting and improving the texturing work that we did in Mark. This is the second of a full series of tutorials where we'll learn the entire process of character creation. And we'll create this character with his hair and all his props also. I'm Thomas Sackman and I'm a 3D character artist and I will be your instructor in this journey. Hope to see you soon.